Welcome to Balloon Twisting 101, where I give you all the secret insights on how to become a balloon master. Captain Starlights go to Ballooniversity for up to 99 years how to get good at twisting all the fancy balloon animals that we know how to do. But you don't need to study for that long. In just this short video, we'll show you how to become a balloon twisting expert with all of the information you need to know. Woo! Tip number one. Get yourself a really good balloon pump. While there are some people who can blow up a balloon that is this skinny with just their balloon breath, it is very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and no Captain Starlight uses anything but a pump to blow up their balloons. So get yourself a good pump. Okay, so I have a good balloon pump, but how much am I supposed to blow my balloon up? You will learn with practice. But in general, the more twists you need to do in your balloon, the less you need to blow your balloon up for the same final size. That makes sense. Or you could just follow some of our awesome tutorials and they'll show you exactly how much of air to put into your balloon for different size things. Step three, learn how to tie a knot. It is easiest to get like this with two fingers, pass the tail in between, you have a knot. Now there are only a couple of things to learn to become a balloon expert, and I really mean just a couple, because almost everything you make out of balloons will be made of one of two things, a bubble or a sausage? That's right, a bubble is when you twist the balloon into a small round circle. That's a bubble. A sausage is just the same thing, but longer. It's a sausage. You have to remember, while a balloon is being twisted, if you ever let go of either end, it opens. So you have to keep hold of your balloons until you have locked them off. Wait, locking off? What's locking off? I have twisted three little sausages into my balloon, but if I let go at any point, oh no! Luckily, I can keep those sausages in place by locking them off. And I do that by taking one twist and folding it into another. Hey, this looks suspiciously like the beginning of our How to Twist a Balloon Dog video. Hmm. Once you have learnt how to lock off different sizes of sausages and bubbles, you basically know how to make every balloon animal out there. But why is there a difference between a sausage and a bubble? Well, that brings us to our next important lesson. Loops and pinch twists. What's a loop and a pinch twist? Well, you can lock off a bubble or a sausage to itself. If I have a small bubble like this, almost a sausage, but it's still a bubble and I'll show you why, I can twist this twist and this twist together. And this forms a pinch twist, which is a self-locking little bubble that I can bake shapes with in my balloon. If, however, I have a much longer sausage, well, when I twist it to itself, I now make a loop! Some important balloon twisting information at this point. Yes, balloons can pop. But you can reduce the chances of this happening by following a couple of easy instructions. Simple tip number one, make sure your balloon is not too old and has been stored in a constant temperature. If your balloon is not too old, it is much less likely to pop! Second thing, when you are twisting, before you twist your balloon, give the squeeze. And that reduces the air pressure in here, which means it is much less likely to pop. And I have to twist a lot more before the pressure is high enough that I can just go pop! Ah! This last tip is super duper important for any balloon twisting you do. Always twist the same way. I have my balloon here. I always twist the same way by holding my right hand, which is this one, still. And then I twist my left hand front to back, like this. That way I'm always twisting in the same direction. And as I move down my line, it's always twisting the same way. If I didn't do that, what would happen is this. If I twisted the first one this way, and then the second one this way, and then the third one this way, well, even if I lock these off, this could have a chance of just whoop, untwisting. Also, 
it doesn't matter how many bubbles or sausages, as long as you twist them together at the end. They're locked! Once you have mastered the basics of the sausage and the bubble, the pinch twist and the loop, you're pretty much ready to twist anything. If you follow the instructions on our balloon dog, well, with this amount of air, you can make our long neck balloon dog. But if you only pump a balloon up this much and make every sausage basically a bubble, well now, you made yourself a little mouse. But what about those advanced balloon twisting skills? I've seen you do some complicated things before. Fear not, we have balloon twisting tutorials for all sorts of different things. In fact, you may have noticed in our sword balloon video that we did a complicated move that looks like this. Well, this is called a pig nose or an apple twist or even a tulip twist. Because when you do it like this, you make yourself a little tulip. You can catch all those videos right here on Fun with Captain Starlight.